This is a video to explain how you do referencing using Microsoft Word. So the idea is that you're going to get Word to do all the difficult stuff for you and it's going to save you lots of time. So what I've got here is just the design brief for Elect 120 just as an example document. So um, what you need to do is you need to work out how to put your references in and I've already got some reading links here that I'm going to use to make my references. So what you need to do is you need to go into this tab which is references and this contains everything you really need. So what we're going to do is I'm going to say I'm going to put a bit of a I'm going to put a reference in say here. So I've made I've given some information and now I'm going to put in a reference. So you go to insert citation and then you need to go to add new source if it's not already in there. And then this brings up a box and all you need to do is select the type of document it is. So it's a book, a journal article or whatever. So website is probably going to be the most common thing you're going to come across. So what you need to do is then put in the information here. Um, I've got silly sounds on my computer. I don't know if you can hear them. Um, so what I'm going to do is this website, I'm just going to say it's my website. So my name is, and it gives you, it tells you what to write down here. So it tells you the format you need to put it in. So I'm going to go Ridgeway Leah, and then the name of the web page, I'm going to call it how to uh, reference using Word. And normally it's easier if you just copy and paste this stuff. So the year, um, so this is the year that the information has been written so this is going to be i'm just going to make something up so don't make something up in yours actually look up this information so provide whatever is available if this information isn't available particularly tricky for websites then you don't need to include it for websites what you must include is this information is the accessed is when you looked at it so i'm going to put today's date which is the so 2013 month is november and it is the 22nd and then you put in the URL. So this is going to be www.testlea.com. And then you just go OK. And what that does is it's now put in this number here, which is our reference. And if we want to insert another citation, you'll see that it actually exists in the doc in the sources for this document now. So you go through your text and you put in whatever you need as you go through. So if you were looking in a book, so I'm going to just stick in another reference. Say here, if you're putting in a book, you just go for insert citation, add new source, then you'd select a uh, book. And then you'd enter, you can see there's much fewer information fields to enter here. So you just enter that information and you can show all bibliography fields if you want, but only the ones that are actually here are the ones you need to put in. So you'd put that in and it would give you another reference. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add uh, this stuff in. Actually, I'm not going to because you don't really need it. So what you do is you go through your document and you add in your um, citations where you need it. So if you've been using LaTeX, you'll see that you use this slash site, short for citation. Um, so once you've entered your sources, the main thing you need to do is at the end, you need to put in a bibliography. So you go up to the references bar and you see this says bibliography and you just go down and go to insert bibliography and it will put all that information in and it's actually included the other citation which was in the file in the file already but it gives it the number and the number refers to the correct bit in the text um, so you can keep going and you can upload introduce this information the one thing i will say is if you've if you're about to submit your document what you need to do is you need to update fields so make sure you update your bibliography before you submit because it won't update unless you reload the document or unless you're recompiling um, the text basically. Um, so that's about it. The other thing to point out is when I say it does the hard work for you, it's going to put in this stuff in the bibliography in the right format. Um, so what you can also do is here, it's style, and this is IEEE 2006, which is what you should be writing in as electrical engineers. This is our standard. Um, you may have also come across Harvard style, so I'm just going to put it in Harvard style to show you. Um, so Harvard is used probably in the, your business studies modules you've looked at, and in this way you can see it's changed the way the references are appearing in the bibliography, so it's reformatted them for me. And also if I scroll back up to here, previously I had that box with one written on it. Now it says Ridgeway 2011, which is that Harvard style which you'll have seen in business books so and then you can just change it back to IEEE so there's lots of different formats and that's the main thing really so that is how you do it as simple as that